The following show contains explicit material and is intended for mature audiences only and is brought to you by an underground pirate network not approved by the FCC. And now, broadcasting live from the Misfit Studios in beautiful downtown Hysteria, it's the Black Dog Radio Show with your host, Richard Awe. You're listening to the Black Dog Radio Show. Hey everybody, Rich the Big Dog uh, here, host of the number one internet radio talk show in the Fox Valley and of the one of the fastest growing internet radio talk shows on the internet. And I'm back here again with another scam special. Uh, this is by popular demand. We did one a few weeks ago and it was very, very popular. And more and more people are emailing in saying, you know, they get calls like this all the time. They never knew, you know, just how easy it was to be scammed. And they were begging for another one. So here is part two uh, of our telephone scam special. And let me just give you a little um, history on the type of scams that they're doing. A lot of them are uh, masquerading as the IRS or the U.S. Treasury Department. And they're trying to hook unsuspecting uh, innocent, hardworking Americans into thinking that they are owing big money. I'm talking $10,000 and up in back taxes and the IRS or the Treasury Department is about to uh, levy a lawsuit against them and the only way they get out of um, having the actual black and whites show up to your house and arrest you and pay all this, these fines and stuff is to go down to a local store, they'll get your zip code from you and everything and they'll, they'll their computer banks will tell them what store, a jewel, something like that that has a uh, Western Union, and if you Western Union $10,000 right then and there, this will all go away. Now, of course, this is a big scam. The IRS does not call you on the phone. If the IRS is going to sue you for money, it'll all be notification through mail. And if they were going to ever notify you other than mail, it would be a process server at the front door. But that's all sent to you by mail, and it's it's never just a one-time thing. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, you're being told you owe this money. There's usually all kinds of... Um, uh, correspondence that precedes that so with that being said if you get these phone calls uh you know don't don't pay them anything don't buy you know get as much information from you as you can the minute you start asking questions they either hang up or they start uh dancing around some of them are fishing expeditions or just trying to get information don't give anybody information um if you want to do anything you report them to the federal trade commission it's very hard to um bust these people because they're in india uh, they're calling Americans just randomly and leaving messages on the phone. If they don't get them saying to call, um, you know, agent or officer, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's usually American sounding names. So you'll get some with a very heavy Eastern Indian accent, uh, claiming to have his name be Mike Smith and his badge number two, four, seven, eight, five, nine, or something like that. Uh, and a call back and they try to make it as very authoritative sounding as, as possible. Now, when I hear it, I think it sounds ridiculous myself. Uh, it doesn't sound authoritative to me, but there are those out there who are being um, duped by this and they're getting built for some money. So um, now what we do is I get a hold of these numbers. People tell me about it and um, I call the numbers and there's, I also get them off offline. People report them online. And I, let me tell you, we call dozens and dozens of numbers here at the uh, Black Dog Radio Show. And uh, we put together a little montage for you, you know, put together a small show. Uh, that we think is entertaining, hope it's entertaining for you, uh, just so you can see um, how they go about doing it and get an example. Please share this with all your friends. Um, so if not for nothing else, uh, to spread the awareness. You know, that's one of the things we're trying to do here outside of entertain our, our fans is to spread the awareness that, hey, this is going on. Don't fall for it. Uh, you know, at the very least, hang up. If you think, feel you want to do something, like I said, report it to the Federal Trade Commission. Call in your local police department. It's certainly an option. But from what we're learning is that there's not a whole lot your local police department can do. In fact, there's not a whole lot the Federal Trade Commission can do. But reporting the number can at least be entered into a database where people can look and see if this is a, a number that's associated with scam. Now, what we do when we call the numbers is we mess with them or we record it. Or, you know, we take some of the files and, or the audio files. We make a show out of it. Um, but... Here's what we hope to accomplish by this. One, number one, and for, first and foremost, public awareness. 
let people know what's going out there. Let them hear how they, what their MO is, how they operate, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, two, we hope to entertain. Three, we take the information and we uh, report the phone number and what's going on to the the Federal Trade Commission so that they have their database. And then four, we just take up their time. They will sit on the phone with you forever. Uh, you know, a lot of times they'll hang up, but a lot of times they'll sit there forever. And we feel the, the, the more phone calls that we make and hold these people up, that's less time that they're scamming someone else out there hard earned running. Now, granted, 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 we are not a, we are not a huge army force over here at the black dog radio show. So we're only taking up a very small fraction of their time, but nonetheless, we're taking up some of their time. So let's get into one of our, uh, our first phone scam here. And this is a, um, a, uh, a resident of India who is, um, masquerading as the, IRS. So, uh, take a listen here. I have a straight treasury officer, Jessica Torres, speaking with Federal Batch, at number 54547. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch. What was your uh, badge number? 54547. 54547 Seven only. Okay, I'm looking for a uh, Dennis Gray. Sir, he is a paralegal and he is not available at the moment. You can talk with me on behalf of him. Okay, I'll be able to talk with you. Yes, sir. Can you please help me out with your name and home phone number on which you received the phone call today from United States Treasury, sir? Sure. My name, my name is Lieutenant Griscom with the Weathering Heights County Sheriff's Police. Sorry? Lieutenant Griscom, Weathering Heights County Sheriff's Police. Sir, I didn't understand anything. I'm having a real hard time understanding you. Uh, is there a supervisor I can speak to? Oh, my God. So sorry, so sorry. Taking the country by storm. The Black Dog Radio Show. Radio show. Internal Revenue Service, how um, may I help you? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, who is this? This is your daddy, your motherfucker. <laughs> You're listening to the Black Dog Radio Show. Because once you go black, you never go back. Okay, in this next game, I turn the tables on the scammer. I call them up, and I masquerade as an agent of their government, of uh, which would be in, of India, and I masquerade as a member of the Ministry of Finance, which is their taxing authority. And uh, I kind of go after them a little bit. We can help you. Uh, yes, my name is Ahmed, and I'm calling from the Ministry of Finance. And there's a lawsuit that's been levied against you. We're going to need $10,000. Will you be able to pay that today? Sorry? Will you be able to pay? There's been a lawsuit filed against you by the... The India Ministry of Finance. Will you be able to pay this money? You have you're back on your taxes. Sorry, to whom I'm speaking with. Uh, my name is Ahmed. Sorry. My name is Ahmed. How do you spell that? A M A H A D. Ahmed. A M A. A M A. H A D. Okay. Patel. I'm calling from the India, Government of India, Ministry of Finance. Okay. There has been a lawsuit leveled against you. Will you be able to uh, wire me $10,000 today? Sorry? Will you be able to wire me $10,000 today? I can't be able to hear you. What are you saying? Will you be able to wire me ten thousand dollars U.S. dollars today? I'm sorry, I may have confused you here because I kind of turned the tables on you. Is that a little confusing? Yes. It is. Will you be able to go down to the corner market right next to the uh, AK-47 and the uh, 
Suicide Bomb Shop and wire me some money. You may have to hack a couple RPGs. Will you be able to do that? You are not audible, first of all. And second thing is that... I'm waiting. I don't know who are you. I am from the Ministry of Finance of the Government of India. You are late on your taxes. You need to wire me $10,000. Will you be able to do that? If you hang up for me on the phone, a bunch of towelhead guys with AK-47s will show up in their black and white units. They're actually Toyotas, and they're going to pick you up and arrest you. Can you wire me the money? Are you confused? No. No? It kind of sounds like what you do, isn't it? So you want to you arrest me? Yes. Now, yeah, I will stay on the phone with you if you want to... Cruise on down to the local 7-Eleven down there, uh, right next to the RPG store, and pick up a form to fill it out. I'll help you out over the phone. You can wire me $10,000. Yeah, I want to tell you one thing, that I'm standing here, and if you dare, if, you father, if your father also have a dare to take me out, you can do that, you, and you have to do that. If you dare, if you are a son of your father, do that. Uh, well, I wasn't going to take you out on a date. Is you re- are you referring, referring to going on a date? I barely even know you. If you are, if you are the only Adam of your madam, then just pick me up, okay? If you have a date, do that. Do that. So let me get this straight. You want me to swing by and pick you? Oh. <laughs> do you want to know the difference between the Black Dog Radio Show and other internet radio shows? They suck, and we don't. The Black Dog Radio Show. Okay, in this next scam, uh, this is a little bit different. This isn't a, a scam from the uh, where they're portraying the IRS or the uh, Department of Treasury or anything like that. This is a scam where they actually uh, send you, they, they call you first on your phone. They leave you a message saying that your computer has been infected by a virus. And you need to call this number right away. And when you call the number, what they do is they get you to... Uh, download this uh, software or they go to a link. I didn't actually do it. This uh, actually was um, one of our own show members, uh, Diesel. It was his family members um, that had this happen. He caught it in the act right before it was about to go through. Uh, one of the family members was had bought into it and it, it sounded um, uh, you know, realistic and he certainly didn't want a virus in his computer that's about to wipe his entire hard, dri- hard drive. So he was about to go through all the steps to basically download some hijacking software where if you want it out of there, you got to pay money to get it out. So they get you to click onto a link and download some hijacking software that uh, tells you, hey, you want your computer clean, send us thirty nine ninety five or whatever the price may be. And, uh, you know, we'll remove basically the software they just poison your computer with. So uh, they hijack your uh, computer and get you to pay for them to unhijack it and under the auspices of uh, we're cleaning your PC. So here's another scam busted brought out into the open by the Black Dog Radio Show. Thank you for quality or paying purpose. I'm sorry, who is this? This is Henrik. Yeah, I'm looking for Ricky. I'm looking for Ricky. He left me a message today. Ricky? Yes. Dr. Rick, may I know your name? Yeah, Bob or Robert. Okay, just so. And may I know the concern why you want to talk to Rick? Well, he left a message on my machine, so about my computer hard drive. Please repeat your name once again. Uh, Robert. Robert. Yes. All right, I can check it. And may I know your registered phone number with us? I'm sorry, what was that? May I know your registered phone number with us? Registered phone number, what's that? Phone number. Oh, uh, 847. Eight, 
Yes. S T E A R N S. All right. Uh, it seems that uh, it is weak. I can't able to pull my record right now. Uh, can you please tell me your email address? Oh, I don't have an email. Oh, email. I was thinking a fax number. Um, yeah. My email? Yeah. Yeah. B I G C O C K one at Yahoo dot com. Okay, it's E I G C O one at yahoo.com right correct all right so uh, can you tell me the name of the tech who is connected to you tell you the name of what the name of technician who is connected to you well, his name was Ricky, he said. Okay, just hold on. Let me check it. Okay. It's beautiful music. Nowhere near as nice as Rakesh Rakesh, but very nice, pleasant. It almost makes me feel... Like I'm not being scammed It makes me feel at ease Like everything is okay Ricky, please don't delete my hard drive Oh, don't you do it Please, don't go through it song keeps cutting out when my voice comes out. Oh, hurry up, Ahmed. Ah, they're verifying my email. They're verifying my email. And they're verifying my phone number. 8675309. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please, please hurry up. I will edit most of this out. I do not bore my listeners. Say 
Randy, won't you please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Sandy. Oh. Yes. You are not connected with us. Just one thing, just disconnect us and then again connect with us. I need to disconnect and then reconnect? Yes, please. Why is that? Just turn it off and then turn it on. What, do, what the computer? Yes. Are you hooked up to me right now? Are you hooked up to my computer right now? Uh, no, uh, you yourself do it. Just turn it off and then turn it on. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. All right. I'm going to restart. Is that okay? Just hit the restart. Yeah, and then give us a call, okay? Well, it's almost back up. Sorry? It's almost back on. It's, it's, I've already hit the buttons and stuff. It's it's up. Okay, she's up. No, let it be. Let it be. Let it be turned off for five to ten minutes. So what are we gonna? But well, what are we expecting to accomplish here? So it seems that uh, someone else is connected to you. So I just suggest you to, uh, to turn it off for five to ten minutes, then turn it on and then give us a call back. Okay, but is my hard drive going to be deleted or? Is my hard drive going to be deleted? No, no, no. Don't, don't worry. Nothing will happen. But wait, what I understand is what are you guys going to do for me? Sorry? What are you guys going to do for me? Does, does this cost money or? Uh, if you want to subscribe, it, if you want to purchase our plan, then you have to pay it. So, let me get this straight, Ahmed. Uh, I think this is a scam. And let me tell you why. Why would would we give you our physical address? And why would we share our toll-free number? Well, here's... We scam with just money and then leave your computer as it is. See, here's why I'm saying that. Because you're actually on an internet radio show in Chicago, Illinois. And we are investigating such scams just like yours. And this was given to us by a listener who called in with your phone number. This this phone number has been reported and flagged by the Federal Trade Commission as a scam. Okay, okay. If you uh, again connected with us, then I'll show you that we are not a scam, okay? But right now, let your computer be turned off and then give us a call, okay? But how can you prove to me right now you're not a scam? What's the name of your company? name is from tech support contact support yeah <laughs> that's the name of your company you you this was it contact support incorporated or uh contact support and brothers or what is it it is an independent third party an independent third, third party yeah. don't worry we are not a and uh, let your computer first turn off, then turn it on. And then I'll show you that we are not a scam, and I'll show you that we make our business better. Has anybody ever accused you of being a scam before? So, uh, we are not a scam. We are a legitimate company. I understand that, but I'm saying, has anybody ever accused you of that before? Have you ever heard that about you? Am I the first one to say this? Huh? You there? Yeah, I'm here. Am I the first one to ever say this? Sir, your voice is breaking up. Um, That sounds like Hillary Clinton. She would say something like that. Now, am I the first one that would ever, that has ever accused you of being a scammer? I had told you that we are not a scam. And I understand that, but am I the uh, first uh, one that's ever said that? Have you ever heard that before? Sir, we have never faced such a issue before. 
before. You've never had it before. You, then how come when I said this is a scam, you immediately replied, replied with, this is not a scam, instead of, what? It seemed like it was, you know, this is something you were trained to answer, or this is something you hear all the time. This is not a scam, as I have told you. If you are connected with us again, then I'll show you that we are not a scam. But how will you, that's what I'm asking you. How are you going to show me? When I shut my computer off and wait 10 minutes and call you back, what are you going to do then that you can't do now to prove to me that you're not a scam? That's what I understand. I'll show you the website of our company. What is it? The physics of our company, the toll free number of our company, each and everything, I'll show you. Okay? What's your website? Sorry? What is your website? Tell me right now. What is it? Uh, I'll show you myself. Don't worry. If you, you are connected with us. You're going to drive over right here to show me? You are not a registered customer. Right now, you are not a registered customer with us. So, I cannot share all these information with you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't share with me your website, www.scammersofthenation.com? Is that your website, www.scammersofthenation.com of India? Are you calling from India? No. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from USA. USA? What town are you calling from USA? What town and state? What town and state, what city and state in the United States are you calling from? So your voice is breaking up, really is breaking up. It, okay, let me try this. Can you, put back, can you keep, give, us, give us a call back once again, please? All right, I'll call you back. It's like food for the ears. The Black Dog Radio Show. Okay, and that concludes another one of our special edition Black Dog Radio shows where we're busting phone scammers. I want to thank you for listening and be sure to tune in every Friday night at 8 p.m. and listen to the Black Dog Radio Show and uh and check back here for specials you know we'll be getting back to doing terror talk here coming up and uh, we got a lot of big stuff coming up for this october for some halloween stuff so and check back for other special uh special editions uh episodes uh where we'll be probably focusing on some more phone scams so uh once again thanks for listening you have been listening to another crazy ass episode of the black dog radio show broadcasting live every friday night at 8 p.m central The proceeding has been an unpaid presentation. Listening to this broadcast may cause bloating, rash, constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, shortness of breath, and in rare occasions, vaginal irritation. See your doctor for erections lasting over four hours and shake his hand.